Hello everyone, just uh, making another video here. I uh, picked up a few subscribers over the last few weeks. I just wanted to thank you guys for subbing. Hopefully uh, you'll find the content interesting. Um, before Traxxas came out with their version of the Bronco, New Bright had one and I had put this rig together back then. Um, I've recently taken it off the shelf because I got to looking around, wanted to see if I could uh, get the Traxxas Pro Scale light kit into the New Bright light kit. Uh, I want to say it came out, you know, with great success, but just be warned, it's not an easy project. Uh, I'll show you real quick what I did, and then I'll hook everything up, show you the lights. Um, hang tight just a second. Okay, what you'll have to do is get you a pro scale kit and then for the front and rear lights the the front they sell these separately so you get a, a Bronco bumper and a bracket for the front and they make the same thing for the rear tail lights you get a bracket so I was able to get the factory Traxxas bracket and headlight buckets in on the new bright body and then there's the rear tail lights with the factory bracket in on the new bright body and then of course you just wire everything up like you normally would and because this is sitting on a TRX4 Sport chassis, you'll actually need a, there's an adapter in the wiring kit for the TRX4 Sport that will allow you to operate this with just the TQ radio instead of the TQI radio. So you will also need that. Um, other than that, it was about cutting the holes in the front grill and cutting, taking the new bright lights out in the back and cutting the holes for those. Um, like I say, it's, it's a little challenging. Um, I don't know if it's something you want to tackle for your first time out, but there's what it came out like on the back. And There's what it came out like on the front. Wraps around the sides, tied in pretty nicely. And hold on just one second, I'll put the body back on and get the lights plugged in and I'll show you how it all functions. Got everything back together and let me dim these lights and I'll uh, show you guys. How she works out. It's just like the uh, Trax, it is the Traxxas kit and it functions just like the Traxxas kit. High lows, halos, turn signals. Brake lights, reverse lights, everything functions like it should. Brake lights, reverse lights. So that's what it looks like on the new bright body. While I was at it, since I had it off the shelf, hadn't messed with it for a while, um, I went ahead and started looking into a couple other things I could do. So I came up with acquiring another new bright bat body, and I was able to um, come up with a matching trailer.
Put a, uh, a hitch on my tow rig. If you can see that there. And then from there, I went about making this trailer. I kept the original lights on this one. But I wired it up to where the trailer has independent lights. So I don't have to have a plug to keep hooking and unhooking and any time that I want to use the trailer. Um, show you that real quick. Here's the uh, trailer lights. And I went ahead and put two ambers in the front. And I'll just give you a real quick rundown on this. Basically, it's a simple setup. Uh, cut the body in half. Use the passenger and driver door of the, bo the body to make the front of the trailer. These were the original door handles right here. Turn those into the amber marker lights. And then the rest was trying to come up with a simple suspension. I have a couple of other videos where I've made other trailers on a full TRX frame that has, you know, full on suspension and everything. Um, I didn't really want to get that complicated here. So as you can see, it's a pretty generic setup, but it works well. You just have to get an axle and then the rest of the stuff I just built myself. But anyhow, um, just wanted you guys to see what I've been working on, I did get the ProScale Traxxas lighting kit into the new bright body. Um, I like the look of the two-door. I do have the Traxxas four-door, but Traxxas didn't make available a two-door model. So that's why I keep hanging on to the new bright. Um, just looks a little different and I think a little sportier. Again, thank you for the new subs. Hope you found this interesting. And I'll see you on the next one.